Well, we talk about this a lot on the news. Nearly all of us are taking steps to protect our identity, but it turns out your kids are also at risk. And the expert that people all around the nation rely upon lives right here in our area. He's a Virginia State Police Captain who became an expert out of necessity. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer sat down with him to look at what's at risk when an identity theft comes for your children. For parents, kids are the pride and joy of the family and most would do anything for them. But it's the one thing many aren't doing that is problematic. Children are 35 times more likely to be victimized than adults are because it's it's just one of those that's not discovered easily. Meet Virginia State Police Captain Robert Chappell. He's the commander of the Virginia State Police's Whitfield Division. But he's also a published author and one of the few experts in the country on child identity theft. The crime has been around for probably 10 years, but it's one of those that kind of flies under the radar. It's uh, not well known, but yet it affects a lot of children. Chapel says most often thieves are after credit. Whether that's a credit card, loan, or even utility bill, a million kids a year fall victim. Most of us assume that our our personal identifying information is not valuable until we become an adult, until we start earning money. But that's not true. The younger the child, the better for thieves because a person's credit is seen as good until proven otherwise. And generally, we aren't checking kids' information until they're in high school. With no national database, then what they do is they receive a first uh, application of credit. They assume that it's good and they issue credit based on that. And sometimes parents or family even use a kid's information as their own to get by in tough times. It typically doesn't end well and creates more problems. One of the last things that you would want to do is turn your parents in to uh, law enforcement and, and you know have them face going to jail. It's an emotional dilemma that is almost like twice victimization. Across the board, the bad guys are rarely caught, and most people don't give it the attention because a simple police report can revert the charges. But the best thing you can do is place a credit freeze on your child's information. Take advantage of the government's free annual credit check with the big three credit bureaus for you and your kids. And be wary of who gets your information, how they use it, and overall, just generally be observant. Parents aren't fully educated on how to look for the signs and symptoms of victimization of their children. And, and it's just discovered too late in the process. Advice many parents wish they would have gotten a little bit earlier. In many cases, it's not the loss of cash, but rather the loss of security for good. I think if you would ask a, a victim of child identity theft or identity theft, there is the feeling of violation that is just as real as if somebody had stolen their car and it could be greater. In Withville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Good advice tonight. Another thing that you need to keep an eye out for is what's on your devices. Kids may be giving their information away unknowingly on some of these apps, and an old information could also be left on devices that you might have sold or donated. So you should talk with your kids about those dangers as well.